Okay, welcome back. This is part 7 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in part 6, we, for the most part, finished up the basic design of the site. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, so what we're going to start on now is the user login and registration process. Um, now, we're going to start with the user registration because a lot of the things we're going to use in the registration uh, we're going to need to have before we do the login. So, yeah. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create my database table. Now I'm on my uh, my hosting service here using PHP my admin, um, and I will have the uh, an SQL file that you can just import on in the uh, source code uh, download for uh, the latest source code for uh, these videos. So we're going to need a number of fields. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to make a list of the things we need. So we're going to need an ID, we're going to need a first name, we're going to need a last name, uh, a username, email, password. Um, now, you, this may be different for you. You may want different information. But generally, these are things that are always stored. Um, we're, we are also going to have... Um, <coughs> an avatar or uh, like a profile picture type thing. Um, we're also going to have a bio slash about. Uh, I'm just going to call it bio. We're going to have the ability for people to enter their website URL and their YouTube account. Um, we're also going to um, make it so they have to have email activation. So that's what the active and the code are going to be for. Um, we will also be able to lock accounts. Um, just in case someone is um, doing something they shouldn't be, uh, we'll have the ability to lock their account. Um, and we will also need the date that the user is registered. Um, hmm. uh, I guess that's it. That's good for now. Um, I feel like I'm missing a couple of things I wanted to have. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to figure out what those were. Okay, so I, I couldn't really think of anything. So right now we have 14 fields that we need. So put this to 14 and hit go or enter. Just once this loads up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put all 14 of these fields inside of the um, inside of the database. And I just remembered what one of them was. And it is last underscore login or last login and for all the spaces here for first name last name I'm gonna replace those spaces with an underscore so so yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and just click go down here to or no eh. okay well I'm gonna go back here and turn out the users and this to 15 so now we have 15 fields. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put all of the names of the fields in the uh, boxes here. Okay, so I filled in all of the names of the fields. And like I said, all the spaces I replaced with underscores. Um, so the ID, I'm going to set to uh, a big int. Now, depending on uh, what you're using, how many users you intend to have, you might want to just set those int, um, just in case you, you're limited on space. But I have unlimited web hosting space so it's not an issue for myself um, first name I'm gonna have a, as a varchar of 50 characters last name varchar of 75 characters because people could have really long last names I guess and actually I'm gonna leave these both as 50 whoops um, the username we're gonna have as 50 as well the email I'm gonna set to 250 because some people do have really long emails um, the password is going to be um, I'm just gonna set it to 75 to be safe. I, it's I think it's somewhere around 60 I think for the length of an MD5 encrypted hash. So yeah, uh, the avatar I am going to set this to um, eh, I guess it'll go with 60. Uh, just to be safe. Uh, the bio, we're going to set to a text and we're not going to put a length because uh, people could put the bio as however long they want. 
the website we're going to put the 250 and the YouTube we're going to put to 50 um, so that's our website URL um, and the YouTube is the YouTube username so I think the max for those is, actually is 50 so uh, last login we're going to have as 50 because we're going to store the month the day and the year um, active we're going to set it to a bool you can scroll down you will select, select bool and that's short for boolean and which is uh, a true or false value it's going to be a zero or a one so we'll be able to tell if our users are activated uh, and we're going to do email activation um, our code is going to be the code that's going to be required to activate their accounts and we're just going to randomly generate something uh, now a locked that's going to be a bool as well so we will be able to lock users and we will set the date to 50 so I'm going to go ahead and click, oh, not yet. You want to scroll over, and for our first field, which is our ID, we want to set the extra to an auto increment, and you want to select the primary key right there. Uh, now, this could be a different setup for yourself, uh, but for me, it's a radio button using my uh, paid host. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. <clears throat> so that has created our uh, database. So for now, that's that's all our database for our users is going to hold. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this file because we're not going to need it, and I'm going to copy and paste the index file, and I'm going to rename it to register.php, and I'm going to open it up. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to change the uh, username or the uh, title for the page to register. And we're going to get rid of the left and right columns because we're not going to need them. Um, and in the full area, I'm just going to put PHP tags. So PHP. And uh, right here we're going to put a variable and we're going to call it form and our form variable is just going to literally contain our form and I am just going to uh, echo the form now, obviously it's not going to display anything if I was to show you what the page looks like because there's nothing in our form variable uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put on our form tag so form action equals and this is going to be our register dot php so it's going to be a self submitting form uh, and we want to set the method to uh, post so oops so uh, it's not going to show anything in our browser URL up here so that's what we want and also because we're passing along uh, things like passwords uh, and we don't want people to be able to see those in the URL um, so that would be bad uh, now I'm not really going to style this yet I'm just going to get the functionality down to make sure it works and everything and then uh, we will uh, style it to some extent. I haven't quite uh, decided what it's going to look like yet. So, so we're going to throw in a TR, which is just a row inside of our table, and then we're going to throw in a TD, which is just a column inside the table. So rows go horizontally and columns are vert vertically, so up and down. Um, now we're going to have two uh, columns for each row, and the first one is going to contain the text of uh, whatever we're entering, whatever needs to be entered, like first name or last name, username, whatever it is. And then the second uh, column is going to be a text area or text box. So we're going to say input. Yes, yeah, I that right, sorry. Uh, type equals, and this is going to be a text. So that's just going to give us a text box. And we're going to give it a name of uh, first name. So just something real simple. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste that, change it to last name, and change the name of the uh, field itself to last name. And then we have our username. Username, and then the name of it is going to be username. So essentially we're just copy and pasting this uh, till we have one for each of our fields. So we have an email and password. Obviously it's going to take two fields. Uh, because we need to be able to confirm the password to make sure your users entered it properly. Uh, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next part of the series, we will 
um, continue on with our user registration process.